I hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, today we're going to be playing with some new makeup. A lot of this makeup is actually something that I received for Christmas from my mom. And then some products just sprinkled across that I recently acquired or that I mentioned in some other videos. Some of those products are including LA Colors Bold Eyeshadow Palette, my Beauty Creations Lipstick in Very Much, my Ciate London Lip Balm from the Miss Piggy Collection, the Sponge from the Miss Piggy Collection, and lastly, the Cream Blush Palette from the Miss Piggy Collection. I'm gonna be using all of these products today, so if that interests you, just keep on watching. And don't forget, if you like drugstore makeup, go ahead and stick around, subscribe, maybe hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload, and if you collect the video, if you like it, the video is going to start right now. As you guys can see, my brows are filled in. Just used a couple of my staple products, my Wonder Brow Pomade, along with my Sculpting Brow Pencil. Both of them are amazing. I know I've been using them way too much. I am going to switch it up a bit in my next videos, but so far these two have been really, really amazing. And this is only $2 for brows that I'm like okay with. They look good. We can do this. Yes. Okay, I also cleaned them up using my AOA Studio Concealer and this one is in buff and it just went on really well. I like to prime my eyes with this as well. So now we're going to go into eyeshadow. Before that, I am going to throw on a little bit of lip balm. We're using our one of our new products from the Little Miss Piggy collection from Ciate. And this is their lip balm and it's really adorable. That is the packaging there. We get her little eyes on the side and it's just really cute packaging. I love that everything is like pink and it's just adorable. Funny enough, we are going to wear some lashes that look similar to the ones that she's wearing. So cute. That is the component. Really adorable. Really like a little heavy. It feels good in the hand. This retails for $12. I like this pinky kind of shade. It's really adorable. It is a lip balm, so it's not going to provide a lot of color, but just enough. So as you can see, it provides just a little bit of pink. I probably went all over the lip line. Like, you know, when I'm putting lip balm, I just don't like know where to stop. But it feels really good on the lips, really nice. Now, I wouldn't recommend you guys go out and purchase a $12 lip balm, honestly. You guys know I love my chapstick that's like a dollar and some change. But this is really adorable if you like Little Miss Piggy and stuff. And it's just really cute. But, you know, it's $12, but it's really cute. And the component is really nice, feels good in the hand. It is quite like weighted, it feels good. So this is really adorable. So next we're gonna go in with eyeshadow using my LA Colors Bold Eyeshadow Palette. We actually have another one of these. I actually did another video using the nude version. I'll have that link down below if you wanna watch. During my drugstore, massive drugstore haul, collective playlist situation. So that playlist is gonna be down below if you wanna watch. Anyway, so we're gonna go in with the bold eyeshadow palette. I said we we're gonna use this in like a TikTok or something, something small, but honestly, I threw it in today because Miss Piggy is like, you know, her aesthetic is pink. So I'm like, you know what, let's just go in with this. We're gonna use a bunch of the pink tones. Nothing fancy on the eyes today. We're just gonna do something natural, kind of just fast and quick. So that is the eyeshadow palette close up, really cute. I love that you can see the colors through the front. And then these are the shades we're gonna be working with today. So I have my Give Me Five Minutes Mare from Beauty Creations that I got in one of their mystery boxes. It's really adorable, very on brand for Miss Piggy. So everything I picked out is like pinky and cute, just like her packaging and all of that and her aesthetic. So we can be very much on Miss Piggy brand. The only thing about these like small little pans is like me trying to put my brush in here. It's digging into the other shade like next to it, which is just a little annoying because I do go in with like the, the fluffy brushes and stuff. So yeah, just something to keep in mind if you're thinking about purchasing this palette. I'm actually going to go in with that pink shimmer. Why not? Just throw that on. It's a shimmer, so it's not meant to go, you know, on with the fluffy brush. So I'm just going to stamp it on I'm just taking a bunch of like the pink tones in the palette and just throwing them on the eye just so we could have a nice kind of blown out pinky look again nothing fancy but just a little something on the eyes right so shadow is on i just threw on a couple of the shimmers they look really nice on the eye also went ahead and threw on my artista liner in purple along with some of my l'oreal lash paradise mascara so we could prep the eyes for lashes today i'm wearing the 
Ebony York lashes in December and I think these are really nice, really fluffy, super, super extra as you guys know, but really on brand for Miss Piggy. So for face, I thought we keep it a little light, a little fresh. So I'm going in with my A2O UHD primer spray. I am trying to use this up, which is why I keep putting it into the rotation. Just trying to get this out of my collection. And then the AOA Studio Aqua Hydrating Primer, just for a little hydration, like I said, before we go in with foundation. Whoa, yeah, that's a little too much hydration. It feels really good, really cooling on the skin really nice for foundation we're gonna go in with my AOA studio a plus buildable satin foundation this one was actually part of my most recent drugstore haul I it was a repurchase because I love it so much I used one up really amazing really natural on the skin buildable it is satin not I'd say it's like a light to medium coverage so we are using this today we are also using the sponge that comes with the Miss Piggy collection and it has like the little nose on the bottom it's really cute really adorable and squishy so that's what we're using to blend out the foundation so that is one layer of the foundation really good really thin and light to medium i just left it like this because you know what we're gonna have a lot of fun with a lot of cream products with this collection it's very much natural skin driven for those natural kind of looks so that's why i'm just going to leave it like that it's really nice i always recommend this one because it's really good i'm usually a full coverage person but this is so good i feel myself drawn to this foundation for some reason just wanting that hydration not a lot of matte heavy full coverage days i reach for this product and yeah it's just really nice and it covers like what it needs to cover but it's not taking away a lot from my face making it super you know just one tone or whatever it's really nice and i can still see my freckles and all of that so really nice foundation i definitely recommend this one it's really good in this collection we do get a blush palette all cream products this is so cute super adorable packaging and oh my god they did such a great job with this collection it's so adorable and then on the back we get like the names and all of that once you take it out of the box that is how that looks so adorable oh my goodness it's kind of like raised up packaging really cute i love this so adorable it comes with a mirror and then those are the shades that we get Based on reading the directions on how to use this on the Ciate London website, it says to use a stippling brush or a sponge. For today's video, I am going to use a stippling brush just to see how they go on. But we are going to use like the two pinky kind of shades just so we can keep everything kind of mon monochromatic. So that's what I'm going to do. I just dropped my stippling brush. Okay, please hold while I get my stippling brush. It literally flew across the room somehow. Hopefully we're in the same angle. I had to reach for it because it like literally flew across the room. Little sucker. So I am just going to stipple the product. Ooh, okay. And we're going to throw that on the face. Ooh, interesting. I love blush, as you guys know. So I know I'm going to get used out of this. And these were uh, Christmas gifts in case I didn't say that. The stippling brush is doing a great job of blending it in and it looks so beautiful on the skin so that is the blush i feel like i'm going to use it a lot more with this brush just because it's kind of neglected honestly it's like on the side but now it has use i could use it for this specific palette just went on really nice on the skin beautiful beautiful product this individually retails for 1920 on their website right now so cute it is just a little bulky but so adorable and it works really well especially if you use like cream products and cream blushes especially on the daily i think this is going to be a really great investment it's not like breaking the bank or anything and you get four beautiful shades so this is really nice i'm really impressed this isn't a new product but i am going to contour with my la colors cream contour stick i am trying to use this up so I'm just going to go ahead and draw a couple of lines here. Why not on the nose? I'm going to use my sponge to blend that out. Find this contour stick to blend out really nicely with the sponge. But I'm just not into like cream contouring. I don't know. I think I'd much 
rather like cream blush like I could use cream blush more just cream contour I don't know what it is but it's really easy to blend out which I really enjoy all right so that is the cream contour next I'm going to take my wet n wild hello halo liquid highlight just going to throw a little bit of that on the cheek before we go in with concealer again with the same sponge this sponge is really nice really soft and it's been doing a great job of blending all of the products on the face and as you can see it just gives you a little like glow from within look really cute for concealer i did finish up my la colors peach color corrector which is so sad i'm not going to repurchase it though um and this is going to be another item that i'm going to use underneath my concealer and this is just a l'oreal invisible lift situation it's like a cc Thing. and then we're gonna go ahead and throw on the Away studio buff concealer over top that so just because I'm trying to use this up it does come with like with a little rolly thing so we are gonna use that underneath the eye from now on it feels really cooling just because I'm gonna try to use this up and I wouldn't necessarily use it by itself I don't think let's try it now actually now that it's there why not because this pretty much is for like natural look so interesting that looks nice very much perfect for today's look actually too what i find interesting is that you can still see the concealer definitely brightened up the under eyes wow i'm really much impressed i didn't think i would use it on its own i'm just going to use a little bit more why not uh, okay girl i'm impressed and the sponge is not soaking all of it up which i'm really happy about wow i am really impressed you could still see it yeah it's really light from the last time that i used it it disappeared completely and now it's just giving a beautiful like lifted look wow and the sponge both of them are doing so amazing Wow, I don't even think we're going to go in with the AOA Studio Concealer anymore, actually. I think this one did the job. I, I am back. I threw on powder and all of that. I threw on contour. I'm just going to throw on some blush with my Too Faced Sweethearts Flush Blush in Alaba Berry. Also matches our cream blush. So I'm just going to throw some of this on. Oh, this is so beautiful. And this one specifically does contain little shimmers, so I am going to go over with my powder brush, but this is so beautiful. And then with my Boozy Brunch Highlight from Wet n Wild, the face also matches perfectly with that golden liquid highlight we put underneath. And I'm just going to throw a little bit on the brow bone. All right, so I don't know what happened to my other lip liner. I was looking all over for it. It disappeared. So I just went ahead and grabbed my Ebony New York lip liner. It was in taupe and I lined my lips. So we do have a new lip product. This one here is a matte lipstick from Beauty Creations. This one is in Berry Much. My boyfriend actually purchased this for me. Super random when he went to the store. Really cute color. Look at that. He did a really great color choice and that is the shade it's so beautiful we're gonna throw some of this on and that is the lipstick really adorable we are gonna throw on some of the second love cosmetics lip gloss this one here is in halo you guys know i've actually been enjoying this product it's so beautiful all right so those are the lips i love and lastly we're gonna go ahead and use my beauty treats rose water setting spray and we're gonna end it we're gonna talk about the products what i thought were they good were they not and then we're gonna end it all right so this is the final look really cute really simple but it looks so adorable i love so first let's talk about the miss piggy collection by siate london now i never really tried anything from siate london i believe first of all the blush palette i think this is really adorable this is a great buy for anybody who uses cream blush on the daily i think this is a great investment especially if you like miss piggy i think this is adorable these shades in here were beautiful they went on the cheeks so great and like I said, with the stippling brush, it was so easy, so effortless. It blended it into the skin really beautifully. It didn't look patchy or anything. So I think this is really cute, really affordable as well. And really just so cute. And I'm so glad 
and my mom actually purchased this for me for Christmas so thank you to her but this is so adorable the lip balm I think this was also really cute again all of these items are individually sold so this is cute not something that I would tell you guys go purchase a $12 lip balm that's just a little much but this is really adorable to gift like I said somebody's birthday whatever they like lip balm and they like Miss Piggy I think this is really cute it feels good on the hand it felt really moisturizing while I was applying my eyeshadow so I think this is really nice as well the little Piggy nose sponge really cute I have to say this blew me away I didn't think it would be as good as it is it blended out the concealer amazingly the cream products so good so i definitely recommend if you want to just purchase this out of everything this is really nice super squishy it's not gonna hurt your face and honestly sometimes it's like a little difficult to find sponges that work honestly like a lot of sponges are really hard on the skin even when they're wet and this is a really great quality sponge it didn't soak up product or a lot of product than my other sponges and i thought this was really nice and really impressed by this i honestly didn't have high hopes for it i was like eh, whatever like it's probably just like cute but it's not gonna work but honestly it did and really cute and it blended out everything perfectly so i'm really impressed with this sponge and i'm definitely gonna reach for it a lot throughout my makeup journey another new product that we used was la colors bold eyeshadow palette i thought this worked nice now we didn't use a lot of the mattes in here we're gonna use it again in upcoming videos and stuff but today we use two of the pink shimmers and i think they look nice they went up really nice on the eye and they're there they showed up so you know this was okay not something to write home about but i thought this was a really great addition to go with all of the miss piggy products so it worked really well beauty creations lipstick also another new item now this product is really gorgeous i thought it was going to be much more purpley but i'm so happy that it came out more pinky on the lips and it goes so well with that gloss and it goes great with all of the products on the face as well so i was really impressed by this and beauty creations their lipsticks are really nice i do own another like dark purple shade but honestly like their lighter shades do work better in my opinion really cute really adorable very reminiscent of like mac cosmetics components and stuff really cute they smell good and they look good on the lips so i definitely recommend you guys check out the lighter shades opposed to the darker shades i feel like in lipstick form it's hard to find good deep shades i think the lighter shades always end up working a lot better on the lips they're really nice so i definitely recommend you guys check out at least one of these they're really good and this shade looks gorgeous on the lips and that's actually the last product we made it to the end we made it to the end i hope you enjoyed watching as much as i enjoyed filming this for you today everything that i talked about all the names of the prices are going to be down below as well as any videos that i mentioned throughout this video or videos that i uploaded last week don't forget i upload three times a week on tuesday thursday and sunday so if you could stick around that would be amazing i have my insta handle displayed on the screen i post a lot of makeup finds from drugstore to high end so if that interests you go ahead and follow me there and it'd be so amazing if you could like and subscribe of course you don't have to you're your own person and you make your own decisions but it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like and i'll see you guys on the next one